How to check if one dictionary is a subset of another larger dictionary? I'm trying to write a custom filter method that takes an arbitrary number of quarks and returns a list containing the elements of a database-like list that contain those quarks. For example, suppose, d1 equals, a column 2, b column 3, and d2 equals the same thing. d1 equals equals d2, results in true. But suppose d2 equals the same thing plus a bunch of other things. My method needs to be able to tell if d1 in d2, but Python can't do that with dictionaries. Context I have a word class, and each object has properties like word, definition, part underscore of underscore speech, and so on. I want to be able to call a filter method on the main list of these words, like, word.objects.filter word equals jump, part underscore of underscore speech equals verb intransitive. I can't figure out how to manage these keys and values at the same time. But this could have larger functionality outside this context for other people. Convert to item pairs and check for containment. Optimization is left as an exercise for the reader. In Python 3, you can use dict.items to get a set-like view of the dict items. You can then use the less than equals operator to test if one view is a subset of the other. In Python 2.7, use the dict.viewItems to do the same. In Python 2.6 and below you will need a different solution, such as using all. Note for people that need this for unit testing, there's also an assert dict contains subset method in Python's test case class. This URL. It's however deprecated in 3.2, not sure why, maybe there's a replacement for it. For completeness, you can also do this. However, I make no claims whatsoever concerning speed, or lack thereof, or readability, or lack thereof. Update, as pointed out by Boris comment, this trick does not work if your small dick has non-string keys and you're using Python greater than equals 3, or in other words, in the face of arbitrarily typed keys, it only works in legacy Python 2.x. If you are using Python 3.9 or newer, though, you can make it work both with non-string typed keys as well as get an even neater syntax. Provided your code already has both dictionaries as variables, it's very concise to check for this in line. Otherwise, or if you prefer a reusable function as above, you can use this. The working principle is the same as the first function, only this time around making use of the union operator that was extended to support dicks. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.